Hey everyone, Trey Mate from Magnet Forensics, and today I'm going to highlight some new features we've added in recently released versions of Axiom Cyber, as well as discuss what's new in Axiom Cyber 4.9. In Axiom 4.8, we released OCR technology into Axiom, and we've been receiving some great feedback that customers are loving it. With OCR within Axiom, you can run either from within Axiom process or once you've had a chance to examine your data and decide OCR will be beneficial for your case in Axiom Examine by navigating up to the menu bar, going into process, and selecting extract text from files OCR. When you select that, you have the option of extracting text from PDF documents and or pictures. Once you've run OCR within Axiom, you can simply go up to the filters and create a content filter and select extracted text of OCR. We'll hit OK. And here you can see we've extracted text from several PDF documents. And when I select one of these documents, we get a preview of that document as well as the text extracted using OCR. So make sure you're using that in your investigations. Now I'm going to go ahead and clear filters. Now until what's new in Axiom Cyber 4.9. I'm excited that we are beta releasing load file support for use with tools like Relativity, Concordance, and other e-discovery based review platforms. Now for those who might not be as familiar with load files, a load file really consists of three things. A metadata file, a native files folder, which essentially is a preview for each item, and lastly a text files enabling searching from the review platform. There's also going to be a .dat file, which is the main file that will be loaded into that review platform. Now, Magnet is known for our artifact first approach. So with that in mind, any artifact can be exported from Axiom Cyber into a load file, including custom artifacts and examiner defined artifacts created from the file system explorer. So let's take a quick look at exporting data out of Axiom Cyber into a load file. I already have Axiom Examine open, and this case includes both a Windows endpoint as well as several Office 365 accounts. And for this, I'm going to go ahead and say I need all the Outlook email that is found within that endpoint. So I'm going to navigate down to email. I'm going to simply select the Outlook emails, which obviously there's not many for this case, but that's okay. This is for demonstration purposes. And I can simply just come in and right click, create export. And here you can see we have the new load file support with a little beta flag on it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and select the load file, hit next. And now we need to start making some decisions here. And with this, I'm gonna say, I want all items in the current view, which is the 18 email from the endpoint, available as a part of this load file. So once again, hit next. Select the artifacts from this template. I'm just exporting out a load file, so I can leave those checked. And here you can see configure other artifact details. So include native files for each item in the load file, if you would like that. If you have chat messages, we can build those previews as well. And lastly, if you need to configure the columns to include within that file, we can uh, specify that here. I'm simply just gonna leave these as is and hit next. Now we can customize the file naming that's gonna be available for this load file. So maybe you want to add in the customer name or the case number so you can absolutely come in and add that in so it'll append to your file names. And we can go ahead and hit next. And here you can see the folder location for where this load file is gonna be generated to along with what's gonna be included. So we have the native uh, files folder that I mentioned, the text folder, and that load file dot dat that you'll use to load into your eDiscovery platform. Simply hit save. As you can see, Axiom Cyber very quickly created this load file. I can go ahead and hit open. And here you see we have the native text and load file dot dat. So with that, make sure you give the new beta load file support that we've added into Axiom Cyber a try. Let us know what you think or if you have any questions. We look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day.